Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts where we're delving deeper into the key concepts of the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular we're looking at is variance analysis. And variance analysis is really important because you'll come across it uh, not only in your projects, but also throughout the PMP exam. And it's basically what we're doing is we're reviewing the differences or the variances between the planned and the actual results, so the performance. And that performance could be in our cost, or it could be in the time or the schedule that we're, that we're going along with our project. Um, as you can see, duration estimates, cost estimates, resources, technical performance of our project and, and other activities and metrics. So all of these things, they will, uh, they will differ from the way that we have planned. We can't see the future, unfortunately, no matter how hard we try. So the best we can do is plan up front and then track those actual results and see the variance between those results. And that's where variance analysis comes in. So with, uh, with variance analysis, we might have examples such as schedule variance, where we've got our earned value, which would be minus our planned value. Uh, for example, let's say we've, we've earned $100,000 worth of value in our project, and, uh, but we had actually planned, uh, say, $150,000 worth of value then ultimately we are $50,000 behind in our, in our project at the moment, currently. And like, likewise, the schedule performance index would be the earned value divided by the planned value. Uh, let's give us ourselves another example here. If we've earned $70,000 uh, worth of value, but our, we had actually planned $100,000, this is a nice easy one, uh, then obviously divided by that, we're looking at 70% or 0.7 you'd be looking at for the schedule performance index. And as you can see, if we're less than one, we are behind schedule. If we are over one, then we are uh, ahead of schedule. So we've delivered more value than what we were expecting. And we'll go into these in more detail as we go into cost management, project cost management, and project schedule management. But this is just a really quick, broad overview. A cost variance and, and cost performance index are the same. Where we're looking at the earned value, say, let's say again, that's $70,000 minus the actual cost. And let's say we've actually spent $50,000. Then all of a sudden, uh, we now are $20,000 ahead in that scenario. Or the cost performance index, if it's under one, then we've delivered less value, so we are over budget. And this is a little bit confusing, but if we're over one for our cost performance index, then we are under budget. So we've delivered more value than, uh, than one, which would be the normal amount. So these are a few examples of variance analysis, and you will come across more as we go through schedule management and cost management and the other project management processes in the project management body of knowledge. I hope this has helped. I'll see you next time. Thank you.